Patients come in and they say to me, Doc, I vape, I don't smoke, can we proceed with surgery? The answer is absolutely not. Unfortunately, vape pens often contain the same amounts, if not more nicotine, than actual cigarettes. And so we can't have you using any nicotine containing products prior to surgery. Nicotine causes constriction of the tiny little blood vessels that supply your tissue with blood and therefore oxygen in order to be able to heal. If you are using these products prior to your surgery, at the time of surgery, your blood flow is not adequate to allow the tissues to heal and you can get horrible wound healing complications, which obviously we don't want. So I tell all of my patients, for four to six weeks prior to our booking your surgery, you need to not use any nicotine containing products. This includes vape pens, cigarettes, chewing tobaccos, nicotine gums or patches. We will do a nicotine test to make sure that all of the nicotine is flushed out of your system and that you're safe to book for surgery. After the surgery, of course, I'm a doctor. I'm going to tell you, don't go back to vaping or smoking. It's not good for your health. However, I understand that some patients do like to vape or smoke and they are going to do that regardless of what I want. And so I ask that they at least give their body the six weeks it takes to better heal so that when they do start vaping or smoking again, they're not getting those horrible wound healing complications that can happen with nicotine use.